Hi everyone, um, I'm just making a quick video to demonstrate a piece of software that I coded recently called the Max Chillion. I've named it after uh, a device developed by a guy called Leon Grunbaum, the Sam Chillion. Um, works on very similar principles. Um, basically, um, the idea is to allow you to play musical scales very simply and easily using just the QWERTY keyboard, you know, your standard key computer keyboard that you type with every day. Um, it's really easy to use and the best way to show you is to just demonstrate it. So if I just, um, I'll choose major scale from this drop down box here. Now, as you probably know, a scale is just a way of getting from a, no a one note on an instrument to the same note an octave higher up. So any path we can take between this note and this note is a scale and then you just repeat that path going up or down the instrument and uh, you, get a, you get a pattern of notes, which is a scale. Um, for example, uh, the major scale, any key you start on, in this case C, um, you go up two notes, then two notes, then one note, then two notes, then two notes, then two notes, then one note, and you're back to where you started. And you can see here, cause, because I've selected major scale, we have two, two, one, two, 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 one. Now, all I have to do to go up through the scale is push P and that will take me up one note at a time. So oh, click back on here again. And Q will take me down the scale one note at a time. And uh, that's basically it. Um, t uh, zero, uh, o will take me up two notes in the scale. W is down two notes. I is up three notes in the scale. E is down three notes in the scale. And you've got loads of different scales to choose from here. Um, the one I was playing with earlier was the blues scale. So that would, if we go up one note at a time in the blues scale, down one note. All very easy. Um, you don't just have to stick to the pre-defined uh, pre scales on here either. Say you like that blue scale, but you'd be interested to think, well, ha ha what happens if we make this a shorter jump? So we take a jump, a note off there, and we could add it on here. Perhaps take one off here and add it on here. Now we've got three, two, 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 one. So now if I go up through the scale, we have completely different. So yeah, um, it's it's really simple to do, and you can play so fast and fluently just by tapping a, um, the Q and W keys to go down, and O and P keys to go up. Like very very easy to do. So yeah, um, as you've noticed at the moment, it's just a piano sound. Now generally, when you start the software up, it will be coming out of the Microsoft synthesizer if you're on um, on a Windows system or um, Apple synthesizer if you're on a Mac and that will sound like a, a piano um, it's not necessarily the the best sound to have it's not what you might want to have so um, the option is always there to send this uh, MIDI out into any software of your choice like Cubase, Reason, Pro Tools, um, Ableton Live, anything like that it's just MIDI so you can send it into those programs and then record it on a on a better instrument not just a piano um, you, you might link it up to synthesizers or samplers, anything you like really. Um, on an Apple that's very easy, all you have to do on an Mac, Apple Mac is to uh, drop down this box and there'll be um, an output called uh, from Max Trillion and then you just open Logic, load up a synth or whatever software you're using, load up a synthesizer, then choose from Max Trillion as um, your uh, MIDI input for that instrument. Um, really basic but on Windows it's a bit more complicated because you don't have a virtual MIDI port by default so you have to um, in have another piece of software installed um, called Loop MIDI which uh, creates this virtual MIDI port for you to pipe the MIDI out of this and into your software. Um, when you install my software it will automatically install it for you as part of the process so you don't have to worry about going and finding it um, and you can launch it with this button here. Um, just to show you how to do it I'll close it down in a minute and uh, right so if I press this button it launches this little program then you just hit plus to add a MIDI port and then close it as simple as that 
and then um, you have to close and reopen the um, the Max Trillion software and um, then loop MIDI will show up on the uh, on the drop down list and you just choose loop MIDI port and then you nip over to your uh, software like um, Cubase or, or whatever it is you're using and then load up a, a software instrument I've got contact loaded up here and choose loop MIDI port as the input of that instrument and then um, you're away really that's it you just uh, you just start playing and um, you will get the sounds of that instrument um, uh, really that's all there is to it so um, I'll uh, chuck it out there for you all to play with and let me know how you get on if you have any problems um, just give me a shout my email address is on the about box here if you click um, that's my email address man in the dress at hotmail.com uh, feel free to drop me a line um, if you want a copy of it just give me a shout either on there or via Facebook if you know me and I will send you a copy um, that's it really alright thank you for listening and I hope you enjoy playing with it <laughs>